forbidden fruit, blah, 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 chapter 5, blah, 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 blah. And, can I have some reviews, please? Chapter 5, The Talent Contest. It was a week later, and I felt like I was slowly dying inside. My life had crumbled into pieces, and I was alone in the horrible darkness of my mind. The four cheerleaders had followed me around school and had been mean to me for the last week, making fun of my clothes and my purple streaked blonde hair, and saying I was too slim and that I had boobs like a prawn star. It really upset me, and also Uncle Larry had taken my clothes off and wrapped me loads of times last week. And even though Dave and Marie were back home now, every time they went to different places, they left me with him, and he hit me and made me sleep with was so horrible, I wanted to die every time it happened. Edward Cullen stared at me whenever he saw me at school, but I just anchored him and pretended <laughs> he wasn't there. I was so embarrassed about what had happened, I hated him for the way he made me feel and the fact that he was a cheater and an ass. I would probably have ended my life that week if it hadn't been for my lovely new friends Abigail, Rochelle, and Tiffany. I refuse to believe that's Tiffany, it's spelled funny. Who were all totally cool and helped me fight off the evil cheerleaders. I hadn't told my friends a boy, Uncle Larry and Udard, but it was nice to have some people who liked me anyways. I sat in the cafeteria with them at lunch. Hey Tiana, are you doing the talent contest tonight? Rochelle asked me. No way, I'm not good enough, I said shyly. OMFG, are you kidding? You're a amazing singer, you're the best I've uh, ever heard. No joke, shouted Abigail. Thank you, but you're just being nice. I'm not that good, and even if I was, I wouldn't perform. I mean, I hardly want to contract more attention to myself than I already have. The whole school is already talking about me saying what a freak I am. I just want to be an average person. Come on, Tia, you have to do it, Tiffany said. Jessica and Bella and the cheerleaders win every time with their dumb dance routine, and it is so annoying. They aren't even talented. Someone needs to teach them a lesson, hun. Attila? I don't know, maybe. I plimpled mutely, but I had no intention of actually doing it. Later on, me and my friends sat in the crowd and watched the contest. The cheerleaders did their dance routine, and they weren't that awesome. They were just wearing slutty clothes so all the guys could stare at them, and because they were popular, no one was allowed to say they sucked. At the end, Bella ran into Edward's arms, and I felt flames of jealousy burning up inside me. They kissed for a long time, and although he looked at me the whole time, I still wanted to cry and scream. The principal caked up on the stage and said, And now for our final act, Atlantiana Rebecca Lauren! Everyone looked at me, and I was shocked. OMFG, who put my fringing name down for this? I screamed. Who knows, girl, just get up there. Abby pushed me towards the stage and I went up there. I sang Total Eclipse of the Heart, punk rock version, so it wasn't sappy or lame or anything, Zero. And everyone watched me. I was embarrassed at first, but everyone seemed to be enjoying themselves, except the cheerleaders who looked totally mad. Lol. So I sang louder and louder and my voice soared higher than ever was like magic. I was wearing a purple lacy top cut low enough that you could see my bra, and a black skirt with purple fishnets and spiky black heels. The song finished, and everyone looked happy and clanged at me, and I went blushing to sit on my friends. Remind me of to kill whichever of you beaches put me down for this, I said, but I was smiling. Lol, shouted Ra Rochelle. It wasn't us, you know. And the winner is Atlantiana Rebecca Lauren, the principal screamed ecstatically. I went back up onto the stage and shook his hand, and everyone applauded me and screamed my name except for Jessica and Bella, who looked like they were about to kill me. LMFAO. My eyes strayed to where Edward stood gazing baldly at me. <laughs> I almost fainted right then at the sight of him looking so hot and gorgeous. I didn't think anyone else had noticed, but he had a massive erection. It was so hot and sexoy. I saw Bella and Jessica storming out of the room angry that I had won, and I smiled. Later.
Later on, I walked home happily. Then a car purred up beside me. It was Uderd. Get in the car. I'll drive thee home, sweet lady, he said in his beautiful old-fashioned speech. I did as he told me without knowing we're quiet, we're quiet for a moment. Huh? That didn't make sense. You wear awesome tonight. You had a stunning voice like silk and satin in the moonlight. You looked beyond beautiful up on that stage, like an old painting in a church. I wanted to charge right at you and kiss thine lips right there. He still had a huge erection, and I wanted to touch it so badly, but I didn't. I think Bella might have had something to say about that, I snapped. Where is she, anyway? At home sulking because she lost the contest and had a total hissy fit, and cried for hours because thee was better than her in the contest. Sorry, my throat's comfy. How it sure, I said sarcastically. At that moment, Edward pulled his car to the side of the road and looked at me and the touched my hands and I slapped him hard in the face. You will never touche me again, you sicko. Number sign. I wailed and kept hitting him in the face and chest. Last week, I fucking begged you to sex on me and you turned me down. I have never been so humiliated in all my freaking life. What the hell is wrong with you? One my might, you're all over me, and next it's like it's it's like I didn't even exist. Didn't fucking touch me. Ever It's complicated, Tia, my lady. I'm sorry I hurt thy feelings. It's just I can't resist thee. I can't be with thy either. I never meant to drag thou into this mess. It's not thee fault I totally ruin everything. I'm so so sorry. I'm despisable. It's me or her, I said bluntly. I can't make that choice, Tia, he wept. You are going to have to. First thee tells me who thou relay are, he said. Who were thy parents? What are thee? My mom dies when I was born. <laughs> I never knew my father. That's it, I said. We both know that's not the full story. You're a vampire like me. OMFG, I'm not a freaking vampire. I think I'd have noticed, you total dipshit. You don't drink human blood, he asked. I don't drink any blood, you asshole. Is this your idea of a joke? Because no one's laughing. I got out of the car and ran away feeling insulted. I didn't want to see that stupid hot jerk ever again. I went home. I couldn't get rid of the memory of his sharp erection and deadly cold body. I cut myself and went to sleep in tears. <laughs>